Hi, I'm John Storms, and I am the proud owner of an F-16 V2. So I got it all configured through the front of the board to be IP address 192.168.1.210. Try zooming in here a little bit. So this is the screen that comes up when you go to the, uh, the board. And it has its name, how long it's been up, how hot it's running, which is a great thing. Uh, the software version, processor temperature, and then it kind of gives you an update with all the uh, what universes are, are configured here. So you can go to network configuration. This tells you the MAC address. The MAC address is what it uses to talk over Ethernet. Okay, and then IP rides on top of that. Now here it has the host name and I have two of these. So I'm going to name this one Sweet Baby 1 and my other one I'll call Sweet Baby 2. Um, you can enable DHCP. I like having a static IP address. I set it to 192.168.1.210. Uh, I do not have a gateway because I do not have a router on this network, nor do I need one. I'm just talking over a um, uh, over a subnet of, of Ethernet, and no, none of it has to be routed. Uh, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. That means I can use on my 192.168.1 network. I can use addresses 1 through 254. Uh, I don't have any DNS configured because I'm not doing any DNS translation. Uh, the only thing I can see you would need this for is if you go to the help screen, it tries to go to Falcon Christmas, and it would need to resolve that name. Now, it can't get there because I'm not on the internet, I'm on this closed network. Okay? And then, of course, you can help the interface by hitting this button and it just restarts the uh, that interface. Okay? Uh, there's also this E131 configuration. When I got this, it was set to 64. And it was also in absolute addressing. And that was fine. But what happened is I wanted to, if you click this, it tells you what the difference is. And this universe start channel is more aligned with what you would do with Lightarama. It also looks more familiar to me with uh, the SAN devices configuration. So I switched over to this. Whoops. I switched over to, yeah, the absolute addressing. And it just got super, super slow on me. And um, couldn't figure out why. And then I switched back over and it was fine. Also, I reduced the universe count to 12 and everything was great. Uh, and for testing purposes, this is just fine. Okay. Uh, of course, nothing takes effect until you hit save. Uh, one of the things I want to do here is I'm going to switch this to universe 55 save. So this is the number of universes and these are the specific universes that you're using. Okay. <clears throat> uh, string ports. So basically you can configure whatever type of strings that you want. I use WS2811s. You got the GE color bulbs. You got a number of other configurations. This is the one I like to use. And this is the start channel, the pixel count, group count, and then this will say what the ending channel is. So if you have 50 pixels times 3, that's 150. And then you can say the direction's reversed or forward. And then RGB, I just saw someone on the forums today, notice that his, you know, he, uh, his lights are actually in a different order. And then this, you can say how many different, uh, how many null pixels you want. So let's say you have one or two null pixels between your controller and the actual string. You can specify it there. I don't have any. And this is a zigzag count. And of course you can set the brightness as well. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Hit save. And then you have serial outputs. Uh, here, let's see, I think I actually want to go back to here and say give me universe start channel. Okay. So, universe start channel. Oh, it does not like something there. So basically with this you say when you're in this mode, you say universe one, start channel one, and then, hmm, what did that look like before? With universe addressing, start channel pixel count. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's the one I want. I want universe start channel. Save. Okay, 
Because then when I look at my string ports, it says this is my universe, this is my start channel, and this is the number of pixels that I have. Now, why does it not like this? It says invalid. Okay. So, start channel 451, 50. Okay, I'll have to go back and figure that out later. This is just kind of a quick tour. Here are the serial outputs. So, if I wanted to, here I could put 55 on port 4. And what this is, those are the uh, the four uh, RJ45 jacks that are around the outside and the end of the board. And these basically, you can it will run RS485, so you can have like a, a, a network of dumb RGBs hanging off of the controller there. Okay, so that is a quick tour. Uh, and of course, you know, if you're actually pumping data, these packet counts will go up. We talked about this, the addressing mode. And of course my string ports, which are currently illegally configured. It's universe 1, start channel 451, 50, and it goes to 2, channel 88. So if I said start channel 89, okay, and channel 238, and I say start channel to 39 in the spirit of pixel packing and then here 389 wow okay so I got to do that by hand okay fair enough uh, it just doesn't like that it's skipping over channels so you have to go I have to go in and fix some of that but that kind of gives you an initial look. So I've set up the first couple of ports here with, uh, with 50 lights. I think I have three ports with 50 lights, so this will take care of it for me. I think what I'm going to do, though, uh, just for grins, is I'm going to set this to... I'm not going to pixel pack. So I'm going to say... 4, starting at channel 1. See, and all that's good. See, so I'm going to be going off of these, well, first three, I set up the fourth one. Hit save. All right, and we're good to go. So that's kind of a quick overview of the configuration. Uh, I think this is how I'm going to have it configured for my testing today. So I have it in universe start channel addressing mode. Then my string ports, I got my first three ports set up for universes 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively, not pixel pack, 50 pixels each, which is you know what comes on a string. And then on my serial outputs, I have universe 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, this will probably cause problems. Let me do this. Let me go 50, 51, 52, 53 and the reason it doesn't like that is because of this 50 51 52 and 53 say so now I go over here and it says yep we're cool we like it and start address is one Okay, so everything's saved. So that's kind of my initial run in here and set it up for the first time. And uh, who knows, I might have a couple things wrong, but it's my first time. And that's it.